Taking a look at the energy markets today, I want to focus on gold. Some selling pressure today. We saw it down uh, on the day, not too pronounced, but definitely saw some selling pressure, particularly after we got some of the announcements this morning. Uh, gold selling right around the 1414 level. We did see a high of 1433.95 and a low of 1411.15. So selling closer to the low end of the range then the upper end of the range for the day. Uh, when you look at some of the activity today, the market had to contend with we, ECB was the main focus this morning. We got an ECB announcement from uh, Drahi and Drahi indicated that they're not going to move on rates at this meeting, but they're gonna remain very accommodative moving forward. Uh, so the market didn't get quite get the message that I think it was hoping for. They thought maybe he was gonna be a little bit more dovish in that tone. And therefore we saw some repricing of the dollar certainly. And I think that's another reason why we saw some of the downward pressure in the gold markets today. Now, some of the other data that we did get, we got stronger than expected durable goods. So that I think also helped the economic structure here in the US and put some selling pressure uh, potential selling pressure on the gold market and tomorrow GDP a big announcement tomorrow on the first read and the second quarter GDP and expectations are for about 1.9 percent on that number that's been ratcheted down here the last month so again that number if it comes outside of those expectations I certainly would expect to see a reaction in the gold market also I want to focus on as I mentioned the U.S. dollar. Now we're seeing the dollar basically at the highs of the last couple of months. We haven't seen the dollar this strong really since uh, the end of May. And at the end of May, we had gold trading right around the 1290 level. So again, interesting to see the dynamic here as we see the dollar now gaining some strength, but gold still certainly much higher than where it was when the dollar was trading here a couple months ago. Uh, when you look at the short term trend, though, in gold, we are seeing a little bit of a downtrend develop here the last four or five trading days. So again, 1400, I think, is a key level here from a psychological standpoint. But also when you look at the short term trends in place, you got to kind of compare, compare, excuse me, I think the U.S. dollar to the gold market. I think that's where you'll find you look for that negative correlation to continue to persist.